this video we will see a distal urethral mobilization in a drag technique described by dr v v s chandrasekharam the urethra is mobilized distally and releasing the daughter's bands in the good technique described by antonio mesido the glands is split open like a book so here is a distal hypospadias which is actually uh, quite mobile and uh, this is a condition where it is suitable for a distal urethral mobilization by either a drag technique or a good technique so here we are uh, keeping a um, ventral uh, tongue of skin which we are going to um, hold to mobilize the urethra if the urethra is not mobile we can actually use this as a matthew flap but in this case the urethra is quite mobile you can actually see that as we release the daughter's bands the urethra becomes uh, comes very close to the uh, normal location so once we know that this is the case we release the urethra from the glands attachments and also the uh, the glands uh, base so once the urethra is lifted off the glands we also mobilize the urethra dorsally and uh, we now split the glands in the midline and then we also do some gland sculpting to create a space for the meatus to be there and once this step is over we are going to anchor the um, urethra at the tip of the glands where it should be in the glands and this is done with the interrupted 70 pds sutures you can see that actual urethral mucosa is anast most and then once this is over we discard the the tongue of skin which we are holding and anchoring of that urethra to the um, the new opening site continues and the anastomosis of the glands then follows so the glands urethral disassembly enables the urethra to be placed uh, very distally and also gets a good glands closure uh, further down below the meatus so the glands closure and the frenular collar closure is done using 70 pds and we now do the excess uh, foreskin removal uh, and then the circumcision is completed by anastomosing the and the foreskin uh, to the remaining penile skin so at the end you can see that the meatus is a nice uh, structure and then now we are using a foley catheter uh, instead of a feeding tube and then that is inflated and kept in position and an occlusive dressing is applied thank you for watching this video